Saying Mortal Kombat 1 is a disaster is a gross understatement of its current situation. <laughs> He's already dead. In this video, we're going to explore why we might be seeing the downfall of one of the most iconic video game franchise of all time. Now, we're going to talk about some controversial and interesting topics in this video, so please share in the comment section if you agree or disagree with me. Just be respectful, okay? Celebrity voice acting is not entirely new with Mortal Kombat. Actress Kelly Hu has voiced Devora for Mortal Kombat X and 11, and for this game, she's the voice behind Madame Bo and Lee Mei. Even Ronda Rousey stepped in and joined the fun as she voiced none other than Sonya Blade for Mortal Kombat 11. You've been looking for me, Scarlet. So there's no wonder that NetherRealm Studios decided to continue the tradition and hire Megan Fox to voice Nitara for Mortal Kombat 1. You outworlders believe yourself so superior. Mortal Kombat fans around the world have shared their comments which are mostly negative. The bottom line is that the quality of her voiceovers are too different compared to the rest of the cast. Let's just hope that this does not happen once we get Bruce Campbell back to play Ash in a Mortal Kombat game. Groovy. Bugs are common in fighting games. Especially for newer titles like Mortal Kombat 1, it's just a matter of time before you encounter a bug in the middle of the match. Is there a problem I should know about? But what if you encounter one while playing at a tournament and lose the entire thing because of it? That's what happened to pro player Vanity when a Raiden suddenly started attacking her before the match even started. Round two. Take note that this bug was already reported by the community and I suggest this video from Dynasty that further explains the situation and NetherRealm's response to it. Now, this is not the only game-breaking bug that has been reported for the game. There's this bug that can make the game zoom significantly out if you're fighting as Homelander and there's this one where the game basically decides to become Fatal Fury, giving each player their own lanes to fight on. Oh! Oh, the game is broken! Oh, baby! Let's see if the upcoming expansion will improve the game significantly. Well, hopefully. Of course, Mortal Kombat 1's whole point is that we're in a multiverse and that we're rebooting the franchise in a new reality. So expectedly, a lot of things have changed from the previous games like Melina is now a good princess, Shang Tsung doesn't steal your soul anymore, and Nitara is- I'm Megan Fox, and I'm voicing Nitara. However, with the recent reveal of Combat Pack 2, Mortal Kombat fans aren't too happy with what NetherRealm Studios did to Sector and Cyrax. This video by 8BE fully explained the situation, but to give you a gist of what happened, NetherRealm Studios decided to gender swap Sector and Cyrax and the fans are not too happy about it. Of course! Multiverse is such a hot topic right now thanks to Marvel and while this is definitely an opportunity to make huge changes around the story, it's always a 50-50 between the fans hating it and the fans embracing it. This is still a developing story and as of this recording, they have yet to release the Sector trailer, but God knows how the fans will react to that. If you haven't heard, Warner Brothers Discovery are looking into selling their gaming division which unfortunately includes NetherRealm Studios, the creator of the Mortal Kombat franchise. Now, this isn't the first time NetherRealm Studios was being sold to a different company, if you remember, NRS was previously Midway Games which was very famous back in the day, especially in the PlayStation 1 era.
Because of this, fans are speculating that this may lead to the sudden stop for support for Mortal Kombat 1, which of course sucks for all the players that have invested in the game. We still do not know what will happen but I'm hoping only for the best for the studio and please give us Injustice 3 for God's sake. As mentioned earlier, I'm hoping that the game will bounce back once the expansion comes out and the studio will find some stability. Now let me know in the comment section what you think with all of these and while you're here, press the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this. To know more about free multi-streaming without any plugins, please press the video that you see on your screen right now.